on May 31, 2014, in Waukesha, Wisconsin, two 12-year-old girls, Anissa Ware, and Morgan Geyser, took their friend, Peyton Leutner, to the wooded area in David's Park, for a game of hide-and-seek. However, when the pair found Peyton, they produced 5-inch long knives, and stabbed their friend 19 times in her arms, legs, and torso. One stab wound missed her major heart artery by less than a millimeter, but another went through her diaphragm, cutting her liver and stomach. They left their friend in the woods, to die. Somehow, Peyton survived the attack, and was able to drag herself out of the woods, to a nearby road. After some time, a cyclist spotted the young girl, and telephoned 911, which you will hear in a moment. Anissa and Morgan, were picked up by police later that day, near Interstate 94, in a furniture store. They admitted to the stabbing instantly, claiming they did it to appease Slender Man, a fictional character they were obsessed with. They believed that by offering a sacrifice, they would be able to join Slender Man for eternity. Anissa Weyer was later sentenced to 25 years to life, an indeterminate sentence involving at least three years locked in confinement, and involuntary treatment in a state psychiatric hospital. After that, she will be under communal supervision until age 37. Morgan Geyser was given the maximum sentence of 40 years to life, and she too is required to at least three years locked in confinement, and involuntary psychiatric treatments. With the address of your emergency. Waukesha County Linnium, transfer over a caller on Big Bend at the dead end just south of Rivera. Okay. Came upon a 12 year old female. She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. Stabbed? Right. Okay. Sir, you still there? Yes. Hi, sir. So, is are you with this 12 year old female? Yeah, she says she's having trouble breathing. She said she was stabbed multiple times. Stabbed multiple times? Yeah. Okay, sir, are you with her right now? Yes. Is she awake? She's awake. Is she uh, breathing? Yeah, she's breathing. She said she can take shallow breath. She's alert. Okay, stay with her. We're sending the police department. Don't hang up, okay? Oh, Hold on we'll just a up. minute. Don't hang up. Okay. Okay. Hold on just a minute, sir. We're sending officers. Oh. Is there any assailant around? Ah, I didn't even look. I don't see anybody. It's a dead end. Okay, stay stay right with her, sir. Is she on the ground or is she standing up? No, she's laying on the grass. Laying on the grass. Stay right with her. Just let me know if she is remaining conscious or not, okay? Okay. Is there any bleeding going on? Her clothing has got blood on it. Where are the wounds? Do you see where the wounds are? No, I'm, I don't know if I should be rolling her over and checking or not. Do you know where? Okay, just stay with her and just let me know if she's conscious or alert or stops breathing or anything. Hold on, I'm going to talk to the ambulance. Police are also en route. Okay, thank you. I'm bothering you at all? My shade? Okay. Keep her very stumped. Two copies. Okay. Just keep her in that position. Just let me know on her breathing. Okay. Her eyes are still What's your open. name, sir? My name? Your name. My name. Okay, were you just passing through? Yes. Okay, and you found her and she was just laying there? Yes. Okay. Okay, so you see any active bleeding or blood spurting out or anything like that? No, unless it's underneath or I just see okay. just dried blood. Okay, just dried blood. Okay. Okay, is she still breathing? Is she still alert? Yeah. Okay, stay with her. Yep. Stay uh, with her. I, Keep an eye on her. Hold on just a minute. Do not hang up, sir. Okay, I will not. And she didn't say who did this or how it happened. I don't know. If, I don't know if she wants to be talking. I started to ask okay. her. And then That's okay. If she's if she, trying to save her energy, I think. Okay, but you see nobody else around you. Are you clearly visible? They pull down that road towards the dead end that they'll see you. I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't. Are, hear you. are you clearly visible when they come down there so they see you? I'm gonna have. I got a gold flashlight on my bicycle. I'll shine that for. <laughs> Any emergency vehicle I see, and I'll be, I'll be standing in the middle of the road. You're in the middle of the road, and where's she? In the side of the road? Yeah, she's on a grass, a oh, little a okay. little trail I take on my bicycle. Okay, okay, see. So don't hang up, sir. Just stay right with me. Okay. And let me know immediately if you see anything else suspicious in the area—a car, a person, anything. All right. Keep your eyes open. 
Was there anyone coming or leaving or any cars coming or leaving when you came upon her? Um, no. Nothing? No. So you, were you on foot walking by or did you pull up in a car? Bicycle. You were on a bicycle? Yeah. How did you see her? Did you just... She's right in the middle of a little path, I think. Middle of a little path. Okay. Yeah. There's a squad car coming now. Okay. The squad car coming? Okay. Flag yeah. the squad car down. Protect her. Here he's coming. Does she have a bike or anything with her? No, I don't see it. One sandal is off. But, you know, maybe three feet away from her. Okay. Flag that officer down. I'm going to let you here. go. Okay. You meet with him right now, okay? Okay. Thank, thank you. you. On October 21, 2021, film and television star, Alec Baldwin, was shooting a movie called Rust, at the Bonanza Creek Ranch in Bonanza City, New Mexico. Whilst filming, he was required to fire a revolver, which was supposed to be loaded with prop rounds. The film's director, Joel Souza, and cinematographer, Heine, Hutchins, were behind the camera, setting up the next shot, which was to be the scene where Alec Baldwin removed the gun, and fired. Whilst they were repositioning the camera, Alec Baldwin began explaining to the crew how he had planned to remove the gun, saying, so, I guess I'm gonna take this out, pull it, and go bang. When he removed the gun to demonstrate, it fired a single round. However, rather than firing a prop bullet or blank, a real bullet had mistakenly been loaded in the gun, which is what was fired. The shot hit Hutchins in the chest, and then passed through Sousa's shoulder, Hutchins was taken to the University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque by helicopter, but sadly, she was pronounced dead on arrival. Script supervisor, Naomi Mitchell, called 911 just after the incident, which you will hear now. Santa Fe Fire and EMS on the location of emergency. Uh, Bonanza Creek Ranch has had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. We need help immediately. Okay. Bonanza Creek Ranch, come on. Stay on the phone with me. We're going to get some help, okay? Okay. What is your name? Mamie Mitchell. We need some help. Our director and our cameraman, camera woman has been shot. So was it loaded with a real bullet or one? We don't, I, don't, I cannot tell you that. Okay. We have two injuries from a movie gun shot. It is ID that yelled at me at lunch because asking about revision. He's supposed to check the gun. She's responsible for what happened. Is that Mimi? No, no, no. I'm a script supervisor. How, I how many people were injured? Two I, that I know of. I was sitting, we were rehearsing, and it went off, and I ran out. We all ran out. They were butt doubled over the ID and the, on, the camera the woman the and, the direct, and the director. We don't know. Mimi? Hello? Hi, I have a protocol of questions I need to ask. If you can just answer them the best you can, okay? Are okay. they completely alert? Um, yeah, they, they are alert. Okay. What part of the body was injured? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not in there. Okay, um, fine. Is there more than one wound? Uh, I think there's one on, on, on two indi individuals. One wound on two individuals? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tell you how to stop the bleeding. Listen carefully. Make sure we do it right. Um, we do. Um, we do have a, a medic on set. A medic on set. They're already doing that. I believe so. We got one laying down. Where on the Where on the property are you guys? So they can find you. Go back to the We're on the. Uh, now. I just want to help us on the way, okay? If you get more okay. information or if anything gets worse in any way, call us back for further instructions. Gotcha. Seventy-one-year-old, David Maggs, and wife, Linda Maggs, 74, had a troubled marriage. The pair, particularly Linda, had spoken about divorce many times. But rather than just talk about ending the marriage, David had told several friends that he wanted his wife dead. On Saturday 6th of February 2021, David got his wish. Linda was asleep in her bed, which was in a separate room to her husband by that time. David snuck into her room and stabbed her at least 15 times, to her hands, chest, and neck. 
After murdering his wife, David telephoned 999, which you will hear shortly. David was charged with murder, and when the case went to trial, David admitted manslaughter by reason of diminished responsibility. However, the jury found him guilty of murder, and will die in prison. Glenn, please. Bango connecting 0149576. Thank you. Police emergency, how can I help? Please. Yeah, you search the police, how can I help? Please. How can I help? I just killed the wife. Please. You just thought, sorry? Please. Oh, yeah, how can I help you? You through to the police. Is this an emergency? Please. Is this an emergency? Yeah. Yeah, why? I think I just killed your wife. Your wife, is it? Yeah. Okay, what's your address? Are you at home? Yeah. Yeah, what's the address, sis? <laughs> 11 Lansdowne. Where is it, sorry? 11 Lansdowne. 11 Lansdowne? Yeah. Okay. Where are you now then? Are you still in the house? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it, I said 11 Lansdowne. I've got 11 Lansdowne Drive or Road. No, just Lansdowne. Sebastopol. In Sebastopol? Mm. Okay, I'll find it now, don't you worry, okay? Well, call, call an ambulance just in case. And an ambulance as well, okay. So what's happened then between you and your wife today for this to have happened? Did you have an argument and... So, just, just, just call an ambulance and, and call the police. Yeah, you're through to the police, that's fine, okay. So I'm putting a log on now and we'll call the ambulance out as well, okay. But what happened? Oh, just, oh, just go. I stabbed her. You stabbed her, did you? Yeah. Okay, have you got a knife on you now? Um, have you got the knife on you now? No. Where's your wife? In, in bed. She's led in bed, is she? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Mags, M A W G S. Is it David I'm speaking to? David, yeah. Hiya, David, okay. We're going to be sending help out to you now, okay? Is there a lot of blood or? Yeah. Yeah? Is she speaking to you or do you think she's passed away? I'm passed away, I think. Okay. And what makes you think that? Can you see if she's still breathing or is she talking? I don't know. Or? I don't know. I just, I just lost it. You just lost it. So did you have an argument, did you? I just lost it. Oh, I just come for you. Just help me. You are sorry? Just help me. We'll send help to you now, okay? That's actually what I'm doing for you. I'm going to type this up for you, okay? Oh, God help me. In June of 2012, 41-year-old, Adrian Graham Wallace, confronted his mother, Sandra Wallace, 71, and his nephew, Nicholas Juarez, 16, in his mother's home in Portland, Oregon. When his mother and nephew tried to leave the home, away from Adrian, he pulled out a hunting rifle, and shot them both several times, killing them. Adrian then smoked a cigarette, and telephoned 911, the conversation of which, you will hear shortly. Adrian Graham Wallace was arrested, and charged with two counts of first-degree murder. At trial, Adrian did not testify, but mounted an insanity defense. It would take jurors just 12 minutes, to find Adrian guilty of murder. He was sentenced to life in prison, without parole. Now, the location of your emergency? Yeah, it's uh, 18892, Palm Springs. Uh, cancel that. 18892 Indian Springs. Okay, what's going on there? I just shot my mother and my... You shot your mother? I committed a double homicide. Okay, you shot your mom and who? Uh, my, uh... Nephew. Okay. Now, um, what happened? I lost my mind. Okay, what's your name? My name is Adrian Graham Wallace. Okay. Do you know if they are, um, are they alive at this point? I don't think so. I shot them multiple times. Okay. Fuck, I just committed a murder. Okay. Where are you right now, sir? My home. Okay. What was my home? Okay. Wasn't going to be my home. What did you shoot them with? A 308 rifle. Where is that gun now? 
That's right on the ground. Where That's at? Murderers do. Okay, where did you where did you put it? It's right on the ground. Okay, outside or? It's near the homicide scene. Okay, where where exactly is that? Is, is it inside the house or? Outside. Okay. In the back of the house or the front of the house? In the front of the house. Okay. And are you inside now? I'm ready to surrender. Okay. Are I you, don't are give you... a shit about this life anymore. I don't care. Okay, well, I, I don't want you to do anything to yourself, okay? I don't want you to kill yourself. Yeah, I know. You want your case. No, no, sir. That's, Have not, a case. that's not what Good. I'm getting at. Great. Fine. Wonderful. Okay. Are, are you inside or outside? I'm smoking a cigarette in the garage. Okay. My last cigarette, I suppose. Are you armed at all now? I don't really respect your cops at all, but no. If okay. they uh, treat me with respect, okay. I'll go ahead and be a prisoner. That's fine. Okay. You, so you're not armed with any weapons any longer? No. Okay. Is anybody else there with you? No. Okay. Um, can I ask your date of birth, sir? I don't remember. It's okay. uh, nine, 1971, I think. Okay. You, so you said that you, you went crazy, you had some kind of mental break? Well, I'm going to open the garage door. I can't believe I did what I did. Okay. I want to. I want to help you as much as I can. Okay. So whatever, whatever you. No, need me I did to... what I did. No, I. I know, but anything... people have been killed. Okay. It's, uh, it's a criminal act. I committed a crime. Okay. People are dead. They're not moving around. Okay. We don't know that we might be able to help them still. People are dead. Okay. This is it. Okay. I believe you. I don't you didn't have it coming. Fucking scumbag. What, what, what brought this on? Well, multiple repeated fucking crimes, child abuse, shit like that. Okay. A against you? Why are you asking me this stuff? Just fucking arrest me and throw me in a cage. Uh, I, sir, I'm, 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 sending, I'm sending people to come help you, okay? Help me. Yes, they're, they're on the way to come help you, okay? Hello, I just committed a double fucking I, I, homicide. I, I understand. There's no help. I, You're just trying to protect your officers. Where are they? They're, they're I'm coming, surrendering. They're coming as fast as they can, sir. You don't do what I did and get away with it. That's against the law. I surrender. Just give me a fucking cop. I surrender. That's how it is. They're, they're coming as fast as they can. I promise you that, okay? If you're going to act like you're personally interested... I was an abused child. My scumbag family lied and lied and lied about it. And uh, I just snapped. Okay. I just couldn't take the lies no more. You're tapping on your keyboard. I can hear that. Yes, because I, like I told you, I'm sending officers out there to come help you, okay? And I'm trying to get them to come as fast as they can. They are driving as fast as they can right now to you. I promise you that. Well... Just fucking kill me because I'm not going to kill myself. It's okay, we, we don't want to kill you either. Yeah, you do. No, sir, I, I do not want to kill you, and none of those officers want to kill you either. <laughs> Did you read that in the handbook or something? No, I, I, I'm serious. I'm being serious with you. I'm being dead honest with you. What part of double homicide do you not understand? I, I know that you I'm had, the bad guy I, now. I know that you had to be hurting to do what you I did. I used to be the good guy. I used to help people. I, I know. Now I'm the fucking serious. murderer. I just killed two people. Okay. I I understand. I, I I understand that you have done something horrible. Do you understand that I just killed two people? Yes, I do. I'm, I I'm used to be the good guy. I used to help people. Then a bunch of so tell me about yourself scumbags discriminated against me, made me impossible to employ. These motherfuckers. Betrayed me for the last goddamn time. I'm part of a pa family that. No, I. Know, fucking child molester scumbags. I agree. I agree. And 
like I said, uh -huh. coming off. Uh-huh, 911 operator stuff. Sir, no, that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm doing. What you're trying to do is keep me on the phone so the cops can sneak up on me. No, they're, they're, they're not going to sneak up mother. on you. You understand? I they're not, they're not going to sneak up head. on you. They, they know that you know. I've, I've, told, I've told them that, that, that you are yeah, aware that they're coming. They're in a fucking prison cell because I don't want to do this anymore. They're, they're coming as fast as they can, I promise. They are not trying to sneak up on you. They know that you called. Just give me some handcuffs in a fucking prison cell. Shoot me in the head. Kill me. So nobody wants to kill you. Yes, you do. Nobody wants you dead. What has happened okay, to you is we'll horrible. Okay, we'll by the process of law. We'll what just has make it to you all is horrible. stuff, then you'll kill me. No, what has happened to you is horrible. What happened to your family is horrible. What happened to everybody here is horrible. My mother's brains are on the driveway. Okay. The driveway I cleaned for her and, uh, you know, and I, I know, know you don't hell feel doesn't good about that. I know you don't. They're coming I as fast understand. as they can. They are coming as fast as they can. Well, they're being real slow because they're going to see a goddamn mess and it's going to be a fucking tragedy. You know, I know that this is horrible. I'm so sorry. You deal with this stuff all the time, do you? Not like this, no. You don't have a confession on the phone? Not, not usually, no. Well, I don't like your society. You don't like my society? That's right. I don't like it sometimes either. I, I know. I like this. But fuck it. Fuck it. I'm very sorry for what's happened to you. Just get your cops here. I'm waiting to surrender. They're coming. I know. I don't want to do this anymore. Thank you for calling. Well, what I... are you supposed to do when you shoot your fucking mother in the head? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I hear a sound. My hands are up. I like I care. And it's the wrong car. My mother's brains are on the ground. Will somebody please just fucking kill me? Nobody wants to kill you, sir. Well, I made a deal a long time ago. With who? With God. Okay. What was that deal? Help everybody I could help, and I was going to walk away from everybody I couldn't. Mm -hmm. And I broke that deal today. We all do things that we don't have any way to explain. We all break promises with God. Murder. We I'm don't a fucking murderer that. now. You know what, though? Each sin is still a sin. I'm a murderer. So you're a human being. Well, yeah, and a murderer. You're that's a human not being. Okay. I that's know, wrong. I, I know. I know it's wrong. But we all do things that are wrong. They're dead. I know.